Hello guys, today I will show you how to create some web style with Interpolate in Inkscape. So let's get start. Let's make some background with this color. You can input this color code into this box later. Okay, so I'm gonna click this rectangle. Also, make sure you active this snap page to the border and drag all the way down. And I'm gonna press D for the dropper tool and click this color. Or you can input this color code into this box. Now let's add some shape here with Bezier tool. Press B on your keyboard or click this icon and draw it. Okay, let's duplicate this pad. We want to make interpolate later. So click and press Ctrl D to duplicate. Hold on Ctrl Shift on your keyboard and place here. Okay, let's make the inner pad thicker and the outer is thinner. Okay, I'm gonna set it into 10 pixel and for the outer make one pixel. Now let's select this two pad by holding shift and click and this two, shift and click. Now go to extension, Gunner front pad, just make sure you active this live preview to see what happened. You see the step is thick and no dynamics, so click this interpolate style. See the difference? It will make the first object blend with the final object. Let's make the interpolation steps to 15 and the exponent 0 0.5 then hit apply and close now let's move it a little we want to delete this we want to delete this previous path so let's delete it and turn it back again okay looks nice and let's add some gradient but first let's click this object and ungroup it, go to pad, stroke to pad, let's group it again. Okay now you can make the gradient to this pad. Click this gradient tool and drag all the way down. Let's click this corner, double click and press D on your keyboard. Click this color. Okay let's add the gradient here in the middle click this gradient tool and move the cursor here you see this plus icon double click and press D again to activate the dropper tool and click this yellow okay the last thing with this purple color so double click click this purple okay let's adjust it a little Okay, pretty nice. So we're going to add some clipping mesh to the background and to the corner. I'm gonna click this object, press Ctrl D and move it here. Okay, let's duplicate this rectangle, press Ctrl D to select this object while the rectangle selected, right click, just set click. Duplicate this object again, press Ctrl D and let's scale it up make it make the opacity to 5 okay let's make clipping mesh to this object so click this edit tool and you click this rectangle press ctrl D to duplicate okay click and click this object so right click just set clip Okay. Last thing, add some text element. So I'm gonna click this text icon. Let's type. And change it with Roboto. 
This font is free for commercial use and personal use. Thanks to the creator, you can download in the link description below. So let's scale it up and change it into white color. Let's place it on here. Make some rectangle here. So click this rectangle tool and drag it. Okay, make the opacity to 100. And I change it into change it into this color. Send it into back. Let's add some text. Change the change the types to like. Make it smaller. To make it more full, so I'm gonna add some text element to this canvas. That's it. I hope you can learn something new and make some improvement how to use interpolate extension in Inkscape. With Zaki Design, create something good today.